Welcome back, everybody. It's Brad, and this is Coin Toss, and we're here to bring you the 411. Today, we are going to talk about Kevin O'Leary and how he says he puts 20% of his portfolio in crypto, including tokens and blockchain firms. Let's get it. Well, Kevin O'Leary told CNBC on Friday, one fifth of his investment holdings are tied up in crypto tokens and currencies and companies. He says, and I quote, I have millions of dollars. 20% of my portfolio is now in cryptocurrencies and blockchain, end quote. Cryptocurrencies have gained popularity in the recent years, but regulators still express concerns about speculation. Cryptocurrencies have attracted considerable attention and investment in recent years, including from large institutions and high-profile figures like hedge fund manager Paul Tudor Jones and fund manager Bill Miller. Many tout Bitcoin, the world's largest cryptocurrency by market value, as a long-term store of value. Crypto backers say it remains early earnings for the industry. Bitcoin itself has only been around since January 2009. Still, crypto startups are attracting billions of dollars of venture capital. At the same time, the Burgundy asset class remains volatile. And regulators like Securities and Exchange Commission Chairman Gary Gensler have warned about its highly speculative nature and the lack of investor protection. The outgoing chair of the UK's financial regulator also has warned about a pump and dump schemes in the certain digital tokens. Among crypto's detractors, billionaire businessman Charlie Munger, a longtime partner of Warren Buffett and Berkshire Hathaway vice chair, has also been critical of digital currencies and their volatility. In February, he said he wishes the U.S. had banned them. Buffett is not fan either, calling Bitcoin in 2018 rat poison squared. Others have likened Bitcoin to a Ponzi scheme. O'Leary's comments Friday come to two days after President Joe Biden signed an executive order that directs the U.S. government to analyze the cryptocurrency industry. The administration says the order's goal is to both address risk while harnessing the potential benefits of digital assets and their underlying technology. It wasn't an all-out ban, so that's good news, O'Leary said. However, he expressed concerns about the way Biden's directive includes an emphasis on climate risk associated with cryptocurrency. The act of mining Bitcoin, which in practice means running computers to verify transactions across blockchain network, requires a lot of power. As a result, critics have laminated the carbon footprint of Bitcoin mining. O'Leary said he is investing in at least one private Bitcoin mining facility. However, he said he sold his position in publicly traded Bitcoin mining firm after Biden's executive order. It's funny to hear O'Leary talk about this because, according to Mr. Wonderful, Kevin O'Leary calls Bitcoin garbage and a takedown of the whole cryptocurrency industry. That was back in May of 2019. Now he is a beloved lover of Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, which is great for the whole market. So if you like this video, comment, like, subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell icon so you don't miss a thing. I am not a financial advisor, so please do not buy, sell, or trade, or do anything that we talk about in this video and say that I told you so. Because if you lose, win, I do not want to be responsible. Thank you for watching the video. Please share. Have a great day.